Hey guys, again backstage here at the Invicta booth at the Basel uh, Watch Fair. I've just been uh, handed this from Al to show you guys the Sabaqua Noma 5. Now this is your first chance to check out some of the drawings that have been happening here, obviously uh, over the course of uh, my guesstimation is at least the last year, year and a half. Original artist renderings. One of the things I like about this one is that it illustrates, for example, in the new crown, just how many individual components are going in with a folding crown, which I'll show you in a second, and then also things you'll see here, like a whole new system for incorporating uh, the screw down uh, pushers and uh, and so on. This contains the A07, and a lot of you will recognize that as a, uh, think of it as a Dowser 7750, but built on a much larger, grander scale, and that is what is allowing a case of this particular size. Now, they've really gone quite literally back to the drawing board on quite a bit of this. Very complex bracelet. Notice, for example, the multiple uh, finishes, knurling, and so on. Here at the top, they've actually got the separate steel section that creates this beautiful three-dimensional uh, effect. Uh, based, as I understand it, kind of on a, a scale sort of a, a concept. The bezel is completely redone. Of the five, and there will be five stations, obviously representing, of course, uh, well, Sabaka number five, um, four of the five are going to be left uh, open, and if you look, I'll try to get uh, some of the angles here to where you can see, that indeed four of the five will be open, I'm told, depending on the model. Some of them will have different finishes on the inside or colors or something like that. And then the fifth one will have uh, some uh, luminous and then it's also uh, featuring the uh, functional screw that you'll see here. Part of the real intriguing aspect in my estimation is how they're approaching, for example, the screw down crown and also the pushers. Now when you're looking at this, the physical crown itself can actually, if I can do this with one hand, um, will fold down and look like you'll see it here. Now, that's in the um, non-operating position cell, uh, we say, it gives you this kind of a look from the top, and then you can fold it when you actually want to use it, and then from here, you would screw that out counterclockwise, make the adjustments that you want, then screw it back in, and then replace as such. Now, check out how the screw down pushers work. Right now, they're retracted, but you have basically what looks like a gear system in this, so that when you are for example, wanting to operate, this is being the reset, and up here, of course, to uh, activate the chrono, I'm going to be able, obviously, to, uh, for example, start the chronograph, stop the chronograph, and uh, do a reset. And then when I'm done with that, I can rotate these back clockwise, and I hope you guys can, uh, can see this, because the actual pusher physically retracts right along with that as you'll notice here. I'll leave this one uh, extended so you can see the difference that's extended and this is not. And I anticipate this to be the fourth quarter, some thereabouts uh, for this year. But that's it guys, the brand new Sabakwa Noma 5 debuting live at the Basel Watch Fair. Look forward in a few months on Shop NBC.